Hey guys, back again. You're on my channel. Thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed or liked, do that right now. Just stop. Do that right now. But anyway, this video is about why you should be incorporating video into your business. Number one, videos are way more engaging than written content and photos. Yes, you do get good photos, but videos tell stories and people love stories. So once you've got a product or you want to tell a story about life or your clothing brand or your cereal brand or whatever, video can portray that much more better than any other bit of content that you can create. So I do recommend putting video in your business just because of this. It gets you to stop well, it gets your customer or your audience to stop and learn something about you, your product, and then think about how they're going to move forward in either purchasing your product or just getting, gaining knowledge about you and your brand. Number two, and number two is your call to actions. So if you don't tell people to go somewhere or do something, then they won't do it. But before all that, you've got to create value for your customer. Um, for example, I've used this, I've done so many takes with this bloody hell. But yeah, we're going to get to this tape. So for example, this tape is gaffer tape and it's super strong, it's pretty decent. But if someone was to come to you and say, listen, just buy this, buy this right now, buy this right now. You're more than likely going to say, no, go away, you're a prick, you're a dick, get off me, I don't like you. I hate you, I hate salesmen, people buy people in it, so at the end of the day, if you was, someone came up to you and says, hey guys, I've got a new trick for you, and it was to do something great with this, that was about to... Okay, abduct someone. So, yeah, so this is the best tape to tie your kids up. <laughs> uh, not that I do it, like, I, I don't do it, but this is the best tape to do that, like, if you want peace and quiet, no moaning, no crying, you just, just, just tape them up, and then you have a clear call to action at the end, a lot of people will be like, frig, you know, my kids do my head in, I might buy that piece of tape, <laughs> so, having a clear call to action to the end of your video, or during your video, saying, go down to the description, Buy this tape because your kids will be quiet for as long as you want them to be. Then it depends on your audience as well because you need to really know your audience, which you're going to get into on number three. <laughs> In the last clip, I went number two, but I'm number three. Yeah, <laughs> number three. Knowing your audience. If you know your audience and where they're going to be, your video is obviously a great tool to obviously give to your audience but if you're just putting it out there and you don't know how to get to your audience member then that video is basically pissing in the wind and reason why is because the internet is full of loads of videos loads of photos and content there's content going out every millisecond of the day <laughs> from around the world so you've got to stand out you need to know your audience where they're going to be what social platforms they're going to use and you just need to know them so for example if you're an athlete and you've got a clothing brand you need to and your clothing brands in California, America. So you'd have to like hashtag California, hashtag everything that's gone in that area to do with sports. And you find influencers in that area as well to talk about your brand and then you gain more exposure. But doing that, you need to have content to share to those people. You got to know them pe people and you need to know your, your audience. That's it really. If you know where your audience is looking or what they like, then you've got to attach your business, your brand, your toolkit, which is your video, in the right place for them to see. Number four. Number four is most important. It's relating with your customer audience or having a product that fixes a problem 
and that people can relate to and that is the best way to kind of grab your audience because if you've got something that's going to fix their problem they're more than likely going to want to know what that product is or how to do it and then making it better for them to convert and be your customer for your business but relating is great because you just think oh I could use that oh that would be useful oh I wanted something like that so that's my four things that I could recommend to you to put into your business into your personal brand into your stories anything that you're doing that you want to get out to people on social platforms so do what you want with it and smash it but before you do all that smash the like button smash the subscribe and I'll see you soon